November has been a very big month for me. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Ridwanullah family. Welcome, to, welcome back to another episode of Ridwanullah TV's monthly goals report. I'm your host, life and business maximizer, Hussein Muhammad, working to help you completely maximize your life and business in this dunya and in the akhirah for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Um, so we're going to get into the monthly goals report. Um, for those who have been sticking with us through these monthly goals reports, welcome back. Uh, for those who are new, welcome. Uh, hopefully you can subscribe, you know, like and all the other stuff that helps us grow. Bidhanillahi ta'ala. Um, <laughs> oh, I don't even know where to start with this one. Uh, this month has been an unbelievable month in many more many ways than one, uh, both positive and negative. Um, a lot more positive than negative. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil um, Alameen. You know, there's a lot of things that is on the plates that are coming up and things like that. So I really have to figure out that whole process. Bidhanillah um, ta'ala. So this is my uh, life and business uh, monthly goals report. Um, you know, uh, you know, where every month I, I tell you all the goals that I've set for the whole year, um, and how far I've come on a monthly basis. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Um, and there's a couple of reasons why I do that. Number one is to, you know, please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first and foremost. Um, that's my ultimate goal. That's my short and long term goal. Um, trying to do the best that I can to achieve that. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Secondly, it is to push myself outside of my comfort zone to, you know, do something publicly and, you know, to reach my potential to be held accountable um, to my goals and dreams, to whatever capacity there is. And also to inspire and motivate you to do the same, if not better. Um, so those are, you know, the three main goals that I, the, the, the three main reasons why I do it. Obviously, there's a lot more reasons that I than I can list right now. Uh, but those are the primary reasons on why um, I'm doing these monthly goals reports. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Um, as you guys know, I switched from the Hijri calendar to the Gregorian calendar. I haven't fully accepted it yet. Um, there's still part of me that wants to go back to the Hijri calendar. But it seems like everything with life and business and, you know, majority of the things are pretty much on the Gregorian calendar. And, you know, a lot of the more important most important dates are in the Hijri calendar. So I really got to figure out how to find that balance. So I've been struggling with that. Inshallah, uh, we'll be able to get through that. ta'ala. So with all the housekeeping and stuff out of the way, I am continuously updating and upgrading my monthly goals reports, my objectives, my reasons and my process. And, you know, some of the chunks that I have and some of the ways that I organize my life and business and how I put them in order. Um, it's just been improving, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. So I've been very, very uh, pleased with that, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. So with that being said, uh, let's just get quickly to uh, the sponsorships, announcements, and updates. Um, as of right now, our default sponsor is Radwanullah Organization. Show your love to that. Um, any announcements and updates, we're still working on the Radwanullah Planner. Um, if you haven't ordered your pl Ridwanullah planner for $47, please let me know. I'm taking personal orders and delivering them and fulfilling them personally as of right now. And I'm also considering shipping out of state outside of Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, and then eventually, you know, once my that part of my business keeps growing, hopefully I can get it on Amazon. And inshallah, I could, um, you know, do... Uh, um, sell it on my own website as well, bi'idhanillahi ta'ala. So the Radwanullah Planner is based on a 47-week year productivity system that I personally use. So please show your love and support for that, bi'idhanillahi ta'ala. Um, we have Radwanullah University's Life Maximization Program. Um, so that is um, something that you guys could sign up for. It's a monthly membership program, bi'idhanillahi ta'ala. And I'm also developing Radwanullah University Business Maximization Program. Um, so that's just a quick announcement. That's uh, I haven't really, maybe I have in some ways, but in in, in other ways I haven't really you know uh, ta spoken about that. So uh, we'll keep that out there. Bidhanillahi um, ta'ala. 
I have a couple of speaking engagements lining up, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. Um, so just keep an eye out for that. A lot of content coming up. Uh, we've, we're, pilot, we're piloting uh, the Radwanullah TV business maximization show. Um, and that's on a weekly basis. So you can check it out on the YouTube channel as well as the Facebook. Uh, but primarily on the YouTube. Um, anything else that I can think about? Not as of right now. So that's pretty much it. Um, so let's get on to the goals. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit, uh, a little bit all over the place with the transitioning to a different calendar year. Um, a lot of things have kind of slipped through the cracks for those who've been uh, keeping up to date with it. Uh, so I'm just trying to do the best that I can um, to wrap up 2019 because we've completed November uh, and then we have December. Um, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. And then we got to set a whole new complete list, complete, clear and compelling list of goals and resolutions for 2020. Uh, so you guys should look forward to that as well. Um, and that's pretty much it. So it's just, you know, a lot going on. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, in a good, majority, good, majority, majority, good way. I don't know if that's a word, but we'll use it. Um, that's pretty much it for the announcements and updates, bithanillahi ta'ala. Um, and I haven't really had the opportunity to update each goal specifically the way that I wanted to. Uh, but inshallah, that's what the monthly goals report is really for as well. Um, you know, I try to make sure that is, is as clean as possible beforehand, but I get to update it while I'm showing, while I'm going over it with you guys as well. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Okay, so the first part, they have four parts, uh, Dean and Self, uh, Family and Relatives, Finances and Work, and Umm and World. I break my life down into those parts, and my business is obviously within my finances and work. So uh, you guys will be able to, whoever is interested in the business aspect of it, uh, will be able to, you know, get it through uh, the finance and work category, bithanillahi ta'ala. Um, so under Dean and Self, uh, one of the first four parts is my Dean, obviously. Um, so we'll go through that and just kind of take it step by step, bithanillahi ta'ala. Uh, so the first goal is, uh, and, and, and I'll be honest with you, I've been more focused on a specific part of my life, the finance and work part of my life for right now. Um, so I haven't been able to do a lot of other things so far. So hopefully once I'm able to get my finance and work situation to a reasonable level, I'll be able to have more capacity and capability to focus, uh, to, to, to give my focus and energy to other parts of my life. Um, you know, kind of ebbs and flows. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. So, um, the first goal is I'll... It's okay. I, I feel like I just got to explain something real quick. Um, I changed to the new system about a month or two ago. So a lot of these new goals, a lot of these goals have been set for the Hijri year 1441. So I haven't, I, I cleared out all the other goals and I've kind of reset them. So even though we're in the last couple of months of 2019, a lot of these goals I haven't really achieved because they were for the new year of the Hijri year. If it doesn't make sense, it's perfectly fine. For those who can understand it, great. It, I'm just trying to clarify why I haven't been able to achieve a lot of the goals that I haven't been uh, that I haven't achieved so far. So just keep that in mind, be the nilahi ta'ala as we're going through this whole process. So the first goal is I easily and successfully learned how to understand. Uh, This one is a little too wordy, so I'll just say uh, I completely, I easily and successfully learned Arabic. Um, at least on the beginner level, I should say. Okay. I think there's probably a better way to word this, so let me just think through that. I easily and successfully completed beginner level in Arabic. Um, before the end of 2019, inshallah. I think that's probably a better way to kind of uh, focus my goal. So, 
Um, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, uh, that was for the new year. Obviously, I haven't really started on that yet. Um, so that's one of the goals that I haven't been able to focus on. So I'm um, looking forward to seeing, you know, if I could transfer that over to 2020, bi-idhnillahi ta'ala. Um, the next goal is I easily and successfully uh, re-memorized a juz before the end of 2019, insha'Allah. Um, obviously that hasn't been uh, successful yet um, because of this weird transition. So I'm looking forward to seeing what I could do in the next year. Um, the next goal is I easily and successfully memorized another juz of the Quran uh, before the end of 2019, uh, inshallah. Um, I haven't been able to do that yet, um, you know, obviously and sadly, this is an area of my life that I'm just trying to maintain right now, that I'm not really focused on maximizing at this particular moment in my life. Uh, but inshallah, once things get back to the way that they need to, I'll be able to uh, hopefully report something better for you guys, bidhanillah ta'ala, and for myself and to my creator, bidhanillah. Um, so I haven't been able to achieve that, sadly. Next goal is... I easily and successfully uh, memorized at least four more authentic hadith before the end of 2019, inshallah. Um, so this one is another one that I haven't been able to achieve yet as well. Uh, looking forward to uh, bidhanillahi ta'ala in the next year. Um, you know, I'm just trying to, I'm just memorizing and, and, and going over what, I've, what I already know, uh, bidhanillahi ta'ala. Um, the next goal is, and some of these goals I'll just let you know in advance, you guys already know. Um, some of them are private, so if they are, I will just skip over them. Uh, and majority of the private ones are in the family area, um, and then family and relatives, and some of it is in the finances and work, um, and scattered throughout as well. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Uh, the next goal is I easily and successfully purified myself from sins and transgressions uh, before the end of 2019, inshallah. Um, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, obviously it's a roller coaster. Um, and that's not one of those things where I can say I'm you know, pure or whatever. Uh, but that is a goal that I have there that I want to be able to work towards, bidhanillahi ta'ala. Um, so on that goal so far, um, I am... Not where I need to be, but I'm a lot farther than where I was. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. It's an ongoing battle. Uh, but inshallah, we'll be able to kind of work through that. Bidhanillahi ta'ala. Um, the next goal is... Um, I easily and successfully... And consistently attended a tafsir class on Saturdays and Sundays uh, at the masjid before the end of 2019, inshallah. Um, this is another goal that I'm not really um, up to par with. I used to uh, go Saturdays and Sundays and, um, you know, I've, I've, I switched to Saturdays and then for some reason I'm not even making it on Sundays right now. So, you know, it's, it's not, in one way it's not looking good and in another way it is. So, inshallah, I'm looking forward to getting back on my ground with that, at least, you know, keep, keeping consistent with Sundays, since that is the day that I have more um, time and flexibility. Um, and inshallah, once I'm able to get in a situation where, um, you know, I could invest more time outside of, you know, just my personal time, um, I'll be able to do that, bidhanillahi ta'ala. So I'm miserably failing in that as of right now. Um, and that is by design, uh, by design, you, you have to sacrifice on certain things in order to get to a higher level of it, bidhanillahi ta'ala. So that's one of it. Um, it's the same story with the, uh, the fiqh class that is in the process right now. Um, so I mean, the, the, but that's the next goal that I have and that's not, it hasn't been really decided yet. So um, you know, that's still on the shelf as of right now, bidhanillahi ta'ala. Um, I easily and successfully joined um, 
as many of the monthly lectures at the masjid as possible before the end of 2019, inshallah. Um, there hasn't been many so far, uh, but I've been trying to catch the ones that were available. Um, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. And I know there's a conference coming up here in Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, so inshallah, hopefully uh, I can attend that to gain more benefit in terms of improving my deen, uh, my spirituality, psychology, um, and everything else in between. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. The next goal is um, I easily and successfully finished uh, reading the entire Quran um, at least one with its, with its translations before the end of 2019 Alhamdulillah I'm failing miserably on that as well um, sadly uh, but I am doing the best that I can reading whenever I can as much as I can uh, but Alhamdulillah um, you know hopefully I could have more capacity and capability to do that at a higher level or you know adjust that to a reasonable goal be the nilahi ta'ala there you go with the adhan alhamdulillah rabbil alameen um, the next goal is i easily and successfully bought summarized bukhari before the end of 2019 um, I, I had that kitab, I'm not sure what happened to it, maybe I do, maybe I don't, but um, inshallah, hopefully um, I'll be able to get that next year, bithinillah uh, ta'ala. The next goal is I easily and successfully bought a hadith book, book's name that I can't remember right now before the end of 2019. For some reason I still haven't figured it out, I just gotta give it a few more thoughts and see. And maybe when it comes to me, I really haven't really updated it. Um, so we'll see on that. Be the Nilahi Taala. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, inshallah we'll continue with the goals. Um, so uh, the, the next goal that I have right now is I easily and successfully bought a hadith book's name uh, that I haven't really, uh, that I can't remember right now before the end of 2019, inshallah I haven't really done that, so looking forward to doing that next year, bithinillahi ta'ala. Um, the next goal is I easily and successfully finished reading Summarized Bukhari at least once before the end of the year to, of 2019, inshallah. Um, haven't really done that. This is another one of those goals that was for next year. So I'm um, looking forward to hopefully achieving that next year or maybe changing it to probably a quarter of it, which will still be a tall order. Uh, but I'll see how that goes, bithinillahi ta'ala. Um, the next goal is I easily and successfully took at least 
uh, at least the last 10 days of Ramadan and Eid al-Fitr off uh, from work before the end of 2019. This is another one of those limbo goals. Um, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, I was able to successfully achieve that. Um, and that is around the time that I actually went to Umrah for the first time during the last 10 days of Ramadan. Uh, with some of my close friends, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. So that's another huge success of 2019 that kind of got lost in transition. I easily and successfully paid uh, zakah um, uh, before the end of 2019, inshallah. Um, that's still pending, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Um, still trying to figure that out. Um, um, I don't know if I actually meet the nasab as of right now, um, as a you know individual. So we'll have to see how that goes. Be the Nillahi Taala. Uh, the next goal is I easily and successfully paid zakat al fitr before the end of 2019, and Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, I was able to successfully do that. Um, next goal is I easily and successfully took complete advantage of Ramadan before the end of 2019. Um, and Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen was able to do that successfully uh, to the best of my ability. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Um, the next goal is I easily and successfully fasted um, six days of Shawwal uh, before the end of 2019. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, I was able to successfully do that even though I had a couple of health challenges that I had to overcome in order to do that. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, uh, which was amazing for me. Um, Alhamdulillah, next goal is I easily and successfully completed my first Umrah uh, during the last 10 days of Ramadan before the end of 2019, inshaAllah. Um, big, big goal. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, I was able to successfully achieve that. Um, it took a lot of hard work, a lot of effort, a lot of money, a lot of uh, patience and a lot of coordination. But Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, um, I was able to successfully achieve that. Um, Alhamdulillah. Uh, the next goal is I easily and successfully took full advantage of the the first 10 days of the Hijjah before the end of 2019. Um, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, I was able to do that to the best of my ability, so I was able to be successful at that. Alhamdulillah. Um, the next goal is I easily and successfully fasted at least two months of the white days just to kind of pilot it alhamdulillah haven't really been able to before the end of 2019 inshallah haven't been able to do that um i'm trying to see if i could actually pull that off next year so i don't know if i'll call it a miserable failure but you know i'm not succeeding in it so far so looking forward to it be um, the ta'ala the next goal is i easily and successfully fasted ashura 9th and 10th um, in Muharram of 1441, 1441 uh, before the end of 2019, inshallah, and alhamdulillah, I was able to successfully do that. Um, so that's a huge win. Um, uh, the next goal is I easily and successfully fasted Mondays and Thursdays um, on a... On a regular basis of every week, be, be, Um, I, eas I easily and successfully fasted Mondays and Thursdays of every week before the end of 2019, inshallah. Obviously, except, uh, you know, when there's my quarterly retreats and or any holidays or things like that or when I'm sick. Um, or when there's a major shift going on like the last month, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. Um, overall, I've been very, uh, you know... Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen successful at that It's just that recently I haven't been able to For health reasons uh, But inshallah looking forward to getting back On my grind and, and taking care of it To the best of my abilities Be the Nillahi Ta'ala um, 
the next goal is I easily and successfully and consistently prayed Fajr at the Masjid before the end of 2019, inshallah. Um, this month I've been really, really struggling with that. Um, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Um, a lot of things that are out of my control um, and some things that are in my control. Uh, but Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Um, you know, I'm still praying my Fajr on time to the best of my abilities. Um, and once I'm able to figure out my, you know, the crazy schedule that I have right now, I'll be able to get back onto it. Uh, but sadly to say, I've been failing miserably on that. Um, but like I said, about 80% of it is something that's outside of my control as of right now, alhamdulillah. Um, and about 20% I'm taking ownership. Overall, I'm taking complete ownership though. Uh, but alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen, doing the best that I can with the, to the best of my ability. So um, that's one that, I've, um, that I'm struggling with, um, that I'm actually advising other people of as well. Um, so inshallah, looking forward to seeing what I could do to improve that bi-idhanillahi ta'ala. Um, I easily and successfully and continuously improved uh, my taste my my taste of the sweetness of Iman and Taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before the end of 2019. Um, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, um, you know, obviously very far from where I need to be, but um, I've come a long way, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen with it. Um, you know, I remember a time where, uh, you know, I felt so empty inside and, you know, I felt like my iman and taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has hit rock bottom or pretty much was like non-existent. Um, even though I'm not near where I want to be, um, you know, I'm, I'm slowly but surely improving on that, being careful with it and trying to get it, get it to, uh, to the next level. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. So, um, just want to give you a quick update. I've been learning a lot about, um, you know, the neurotransmitters and the chemical um, discharge. I don't know, for lack of a better word, internally, you know, in our minds and bodies. Um, a lot of biology, a lot of chemistry that I've been learning about, just on a, a far end. But it's been very powerful for me. It's been very uh, amazing that I've been learning so I'm I'm very interested in biology for some reason and chemistry, um, and obviously uh, our our it has to do a lot with our dean, um, but you know I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to seeing what that looks like, bidanillahi ta'ala, and learning more about it. I'm more of a dean, uh, finance and business type of person, um, but you know biology and chemistry. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. Uh, so it's just been very, very helpful to, uh, the reason why I've been learning about it is trying to understand, you know, where I should be in different areas of my life, uh, where I'm, how far I've come so far and what is left. And just trying to overcome some of the addictions that I have, uh, whether they're small or big. And it's not something crazy, but to me it is like uh, uh, the addiction to social media, the addiction to uh, food, the the addiction to, um, you know, self-destructive habits, you know what I mean, procrastination and, you know, those things. I honestly feel like they're not good for me. So I'm trying to understand it from a completely different perspective, from uh, a dean perspective, a biological perspective, a chemistry perspective, and hab habitual perspective and all of these things and trying to break it. Um, so... Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, I just thought I'd share that with you because I honestly am I'm just fascinated with that as of right now uh, because, you know, we're, we have this unbelievable imbalance uh, spiritually, psychologically, physically with our biology and, 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 and everything else that you could imagine. Um, and I'm trying to figure out how to gain balance, you know what I mean? Like right now, the one that I'm currently working on today when I woke up is my nutrition. My nutrition has been completely off balance. Um, and I'm just asking myself earlier before uh, getting on the uh, monthly goals reports, is like, how do I know what to eat? When to eat it? How much to eat? How to eat it? Why I should be eating it? Uh, because I, I, it's it's a lot, a lot of thoughts, to be quite honest with you. I've been, uh, I've been a consistent overeater, um, sadly. 
a binge eater as well and I'm starting to learn that there's a difference between the two and we'll probably get into that uh, during the health and fitness section of it that we're going to get into next ta'ala. but I just thought I'd share those thoughts with you it might be helpful might not be uh, but it's been very, very valuable to me, and I'm just extremely fascinated with it for some reason, uh, because it's just been so uh, a huge game changer in my life and business. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil um, So that's pretty much it. Getting on to the next one. Um, uh, next goal is I easily, successfully, and consistently improved on purifying my intentions and sincerity. For the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before the end of 2019. And that's one of those ongoing battles that we have. Uh, but alhamdulillah rabbil alameen, I've come a long way uh, with that. Where uh, I've realized certain things that had different intentions for them and sincerity. And it was great to kind of purify it and the different opportunities that is coming up in my life and business. Um... It's been amazing, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. I, one of the amazing insights that I've gained in, 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 in intentions and sincerity is if you ever feel bad about a particular opportunity or engagement or work, it, is just, it, it just means that you haven't purified your intentions and sincerity. So as I'm working on purifying my intentions and sincerity, I hope that you do as well. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to purify our intentions and make us sincere. Um, and this is going to be an ongoing battle with different areas of life and business and everything in between. Uh, uh, the next goal is I easily and successfully uh, sacrificed an animal during Eid al Adha uh, before, the, before the end of 2019, inshallah. Um, I haven't been able to do that uh, for more reasons than one. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. But looking forward to seeing if I could, you know, do that as a regular uh, uh, practice moving forward. Bidhanillahi um, ta'ala. The next goal is I easily and successfully uh, went to Hajj uh, before the end of 2019. This is more of a placeholder, to be quite honest with you. I don't know if I'll be able to do it next year or the following year or whatever year that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows me. Uh, but I just like to have it there so I know I have that intention to do it. Um, the next goal is I easily and successfully compl and completely read at least one deen book before the end of 2019, inshallah. And I chose the sincere counsel, sincere counsel to seekers of sacred knowledge by Ibn Josie. Um, haven't really dove into that yet. I actually read that book before, but I wanted to reread it. But that's one of those goals that'll be for next year. Be the Nilahi Taala. The next goal is I easily and successfully maximized. Uh, my mindset and emotional and emotional intelligence my mindset emotional intelligence and actual emotions uh, before yeah, this is a little too wordy so let me reduce that a little bit I easily and successfully maximize my mindset in my mindset and emotions uh, emo my mindset and emotional intelligence before the end of 2019 inshallah um, this has been an ongoing battle for me alhamdulillah rabbil alameen you know learning about the spirituality the, the biology and the chemistry about me personally has been a game changer for me um, so Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, I'm looking forward to improving on that, Bidhanillah um, Ta'ala. So yeah, uh, with that goal, uh, I'm doing a lot better, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Even though it's kind of a battle going back and forth with it, I'm trying to improve my mindset and my emotional intelligence. Um, what goes along with that is my work ethic as well. Um, so uh, inshallah, I'll, I'll make sure hopefully to add that. For in my in my work goals, be the Taala. 
So Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, my mindset and emotional intelligence is improving as far as I could tell. Maybe you guys could tell as well, maybe it's otherwise. Uh, but inshallah, uh, looking forward to improving on that as well in the next coming year. Um, next goal is I easily and successfully listen to at least four book summaries before the end of 2019. Uh, ta'ala. Um, haven't actually, I think I've more than crushed this goal. So I did about 15 so far. Alhamdulillah, maybe even 16 to be quite honest with you guys. So I'm about 12 goals, 12 book summaries ahead so far. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Um, so looking forward to maybe upping the ante on that goal, uh, be the Nillahi Taala in the in the next coming year when I'm uh, taking my I'm taking my fourth quarter retreat in about two weeks, be the Nillahi Taala. So it'll be December twenty third to January fifth. Those two weeks it might, will be my fourth quarter Radwanullah retreat. Unbelievably excited. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Um, so I successfully achieved that goal. Um, next goal is I easily and successfully listen to at least two uh, full audio books uh, before the end of 2019, inshallah. Um, I haven't been able, I started it, but I haven't been able to achieve it. So I'm looking forward to figuring that out. Be the Nillahi Ta'ala. The next goal is I easily and successfully skim through at least. Uh, four physical or digital or digital books from cover to cover before the end of 2019. Um, sadly, I haven't been able to do that. Um, inshallah, I'm looking forward to it when I have more capacity and capability in my life and business. Uh, uh, next goal is I easily and successfully read at least one physical or digital book from cover to cover before the end of 2019. Inshallah, and I chose The Millionaire Mind. Uh, by T. Harv Ecker. Um, haven't been able to do that yet. Uh, so inshallah, looking forward to it. Um, one of the things that I'm struggling with is trying to figure out how to distinctify between what is a dean goal and what is something that's outside of it. For me, my dean is specific and general as well. That covers my spirituality and psychology, my heart and soul, my mind and gut. Um, you know, and obviously the health and fitness covers everything else. Maybe, you know, the stuff that I could cover here, I'll cover it here. And something that's more specific in the different areas of life, I'll just cover it there as well. Um, so I don't know how to, you know, separate the two as of right now. But, you know, my dean is, you know, my mindset, my worldview and everything else. So um, I'll still take that uh, opportunity to view it as that. Um, because, you know, these things are influencing our beliefs, right? That's the core issue of our deen is our beliefs, um, as well as our actions, right? Our, our worship, tawheed al rububiyah al-uluhiya, as well as the al-asma wa sifat So, you know, there's obviously a lot of things that I want to improve on, but that's one thing that, I, one thing that I'm still trying to figure out. Uh, but as of right now, I'll keep all of my spiritual and psychological goals here, um, spiritual meaning heart and soul, psychological meaning uh, mind and gut um, as of right now. And then the health and fitness will be the physical body and everything else that goes along with that. Um, so inshallah, uh, look, that's just a, a, a thing out there that I wanted to put. Um, so I haven't been able to read the book yet. Um, so inshallah, looking forward to reading that book. Uh, hopefully next year, bi-idhanillahi ta'ala. Uh, I really suck at reading books, and, and for me, I'm just about, you know, podcasts, and, uh, uh, you know, I'm a more of an auditory learner. I'm learning to adopt, uh, you know, embrace that rather than beating myself up, myself up over it. Maybe I could push myself and, you know, find more time to become a reader, uh, because they say leaders are readers. Uh, ta'ala. So looking forward to that, bidhanillah. Um, I easily and successfully looked out for um, oh man I'm a little bit all over the place with this right now uh, okay I think I see where I'm at uh, the next goal is I I easily and successfully 
looked out for sacred and secular products and services that will help me uh, completely maximize my life and business. Um, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm still, as I'm, you know, building my business, I'm working on consuming a lot more as well. Uh, there's a couple of programs that I'm interested in uh, that I want to take, uh, a couple of coaches that I'm eyeing a little bit right now. Um, so I'll just keep it at that for right now. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, I'm still on the lookout for, um, you know, different offers, products and services that are out there that are free and or paid um, that I could take advantage of. If you guys have any recommendations for me, please let me know. Um, I have a, lot, a couple of recommendations for you, but I'll just tell you in a different episode or show or maybe in the links below when I have time and capacity. Um, there's a lot that I can think about right now. Obviously, you guys have seen some of the things that I've already mentioned with some of the books um, and things like that. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, I really have to think about a complete, clear and compelling goals that I have. Uh, uh, inshallah, I'm looking forward to improving that uh, in the next year when I'm resetting my goals and resolutions. There's nothing that I can think about as of right now um, that will help me improve my deen in terms of a, a, a goal that I've set for myself, aside from what I already have that I'm struggling with right now. Uh, but inshallah, I'm looking forward to improving on that um, The next uh, chunk is health and fitness where we've completed the Dean chunk out of the four within Dean and self um, So the health and fitness is something that I've been struggling with a lot lately um, And I've had a couple of distinctions and better knowledge of um, <clears throat> So looking forward to that Bidhanillahi ta'ala So the goal that I have in my um, health and fitness is I easily and successfully got my my BMI and fat percentage to normal levels um, and learned more about it before the end of 2019, inshallah. Um, I'm still learning about my uh, BMI and fat percentage levels. It's not nearly where I need to be. Uh, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. I've slowly but surely worked on improving that. Um, I've realized my weight has been kind of hovering up, up for some reason. Uh, but inshallah, I gained consciousness of it. I'm trying to improve it because now I know the different areas of my life and how they connect um, and, and with my business as well. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Um, so looking forward to improving on that. Um, is, is, you know, personal professional development is not an easy task, uh, but that's you know probably why a lot of the people are stuck in this particular situation in life, is that because it's not easy. So I'm embracing that as of right now and trying to improve on that. Bismillahi taala. And if you want more depth in from in depth information and resources on how to completely maximize your life and you're, you want to take your life to the next level, um, I actually have a, 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 an online monthly membership program called Radwanullah University's Life Maximization Program. Um, so hopefully you guys can join us there. Um, you guys could just go to radwanullah.com and see the access there, or uh, hopefully I'll have the description in the link below, or you can check the other content that I've been producing or the reminders that I set for it. Um, I really want a lot more people to join us in that program. It's $30 per month. Um, you guys will be able to gain a lot of value from it. Uh, so I just wanted to quickly plug that there. Um, you know, honestly, wallahi, like it's been, it's been my dream program. Like I'm designing the, the program that I wish I had, um, you know, and, you know, I'm trying to provide it to others. I am taking some of the programs to, to minimal capacity. And I'm trying to expand on that. Uh, but, you know, the more I teach, the more I learn. So in either case, um, I'm benefiting. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. So um, I'm improving on that. Uh, ta'ala. Um, the next goal is I easily and successfully worked out at least three times per week uh, before the end of 2009. Uh, every week.
every week before the end of 2019, inshallah. Obviously, this is excluding um, excluding uh, quarterly retreats, uh, holidays, uh, sickness, and and extremely busy seasons. In extremely busy situations, I should say. Um, <clears throat> so I have I've been feeling failing miserably on that, um, just because of the way my schedule is set up right now. I'm looking forward to improving that. Be the Taala. The next goal is I easily and successfully got my uh, gym membership back before the end of 2019. Um, I. I actually stopped going to the gym uh, for financial and other reasons um, and just trying to get my system back to the way that it needs to be. Um, right now, I'm ready to go back, but for some reason, my schedule is not optimal right now to get a gym membership. Uh, but inshallah, hopefully when my, when my schedule is a little bit better and I have you know, at least two or three regular openings that I can consistently go to, um, I'll be able to uh, continuously work on that. Be the Taala. So I haven't really got my gym membership back. I'm looking forward to it. Maybe in 2020. Be the Taala. So if you guys have any gym suggestions, uh, let me know. Be the I easily successfully ate uh, two scheduled meals per day every day before the end of 2019. Inshallah. Um, haven't been success. I've I've been good with it, but I haven't been able to be up to par with my two meals per day. Obviously, you know when I'm when I'm on my on my retreats, holidays, fasting, things like that. Um, in busy busy, you know seasons, I haven't been able to do that. But overall, I'm still you know um, experimenting with my nutritional schedule. Uh, I, I, I realize whenever I'm too busy, I don't really focus on my uh, eating schedule. So um, I'm looking forward to improving on that. I did improve recently. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. I'm looking forward to uh, improving on that so far. Um, I easily and successfully ate healthier food, uh, healthier or cleaner. Uh, food on a regular basis to... To fully detoxify my body and get all of the proper nutrients for my nutrients my body needs before the end of 2019, inshallah. Um, this month honestly has been a very, very hectic month for me, so I haven't been doing good on that goal. Uh, for some reason, uh, actually, we're, we're out of November, so yeah, whole of November has been very horrible eating schedule. I'm barely starting to get a hang of it right now in December. Um, so, inshallah, looking forward to improving on that. Um, next goal is I easily and successfully stopped heavy, regular snacking between my meals throughout 2019. Um, I realize snacking has been a killer for me and I haven't been able to uh, overcome that so far. There are periods of time when I'm good with it and there are periods of times when I'm not. Um, with the new lessons that I've learned about spirituality and psychology and you know physiology and everything else that you could imagine and all the other ologies, um, I, I'm, I'm in a better situation, better equipped, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen, to take care of things the way that I need to. Um, so I'm looking forward to uh, you know the heavy and the regular snacking to curb that. Um, I haven't been able to so far, so I'm looking forward to improving on that, bidhanillah ta'ala. Uh, the next goal is I easily and successfully overcame uh, overeating and binge overeating and binge eating, which are two different things. Uh, to me, at least, uh, maybe some people think it's the same the way I thought about it. But right now, as I've learned, you know, overeating is when you're regularly just overeating. Binge eating is, you know, there are certain times where you're eating too much. Um, so, and it's called gluttony. Uh, fed state is another term for it. I'm learning about these different medical terminologies as well. As I'm actually, uh, it's 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 crazy for me to say I'm actually a medical professional. <laughs> uh, I've, I've realized the past five years in a, in a, in a business. Way I'm in a I'm in the uh, I'm in the medical industry, 
I'm in the medical industry, I'm in the educational industry, I'm in the e-commerce industry as of right now. So, woola! <laughs> I don't know what that was, don't ask me. Uh, but inshallah, yeah, I'm a medical professional, y'all. <laughs> it's it's kind of weird saying that. Um, but alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. Uh, let's see. So, I, I, my, my overeating, gluttony, and binge eating problems, I haven't been able to overcome that. Uh, sadly, sometimes I'm good with it, sometimes I'm really bad with it, sometimes I'm in between. Right now, I'm in between. Um, but a whole of November has just been horrible, to be quite honest with you. So, I'm looking forward to regaining that uh, discipline, that focus, uh, especially with what I've learned recently. Uh, it's just been amazing about life and business, nutrition, uh, biology, like I've been mentioning before. Um, it's really, really helping me out a lot. Hopefully, we can cover that in uh, some of the lessons in uh, the Ridwanullah University's Life Maximization Program and dive deeper into that. Uh, the next goal is I easily and successfully completed my 10 day water fast or juice or smoothie. Um, ideally, the, the first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah before the end of 2019 to kind of, you know, hit two birds with one stone type of thing. Um, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, I haven't been able to successfully do that. I'm looking forward to doing that next year, Bidhinillah uh, Ta'ala. Next goal is I easily and successfully, pers this is personal, so I'll skip that. I haven't been able to complete that. Um, so inshallah, we'll move on from there. Um, next goal is I easily and successfully got my shoulder completely aligned and functional before the end of 2019. Um, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, I'm a lot better than I used to be. But very far away from where I need to be, and this is the shoulder that I really, really need a lot more attention to with. Um, I don't know if it's just a physical therapy issue or a surgical issue. I hope it's just a physical therapy issue, but um, you know, if it's a surgical issue, then may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy. I hope it's not, but that's kind of what it's kind of seeming like. Um, so Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, I'm improving a lot. It's a lot better than where it used to be. Uh, but the, I think there's probably 20 to 30 percent that I feel like I could improve on Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. And I think once I start exercising regularly and, and getting my nutrition back to a better level, um, that'll help with my shoulder problems as well, inshallah. I know it's a weird thing, but that's how it is. Um, next goal is personal. Uh, so let me actually move that up. Kind of lost track there for a minute. Okay. Um, next goal is I easily and successfully uh, completed at least uh, 24 uh, complete fitra groomings before the end of 2019. Inshallah. Alhamdulillah, um, Rabbil Alameen, I was able to successfully do that. Um, and it's been going good so far. Um, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. I just don't know what the numbers look like uh, for since I switched, you know, calendar systems. Uh, but Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, I've been able to successfully do that. Uh, the next goal is I easily and successfully completed at least four full hikes before the end of 2019, inshallah. Um, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, um, I, I haven't hiked as much recently, but I did complete my hiking, um, my four full hikes, uh, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Um, and I think I'll have one more opportunity during my fourth quarter Radwanullah retreat. Uh, looking forward to that as well, Bidhinillah Ta'ala. Um, I easily and successfully got at least two full chiropractic adjustments and massage. 
full chiropractic adjustments and massages before the end of 2019, inshallah. Um, I was able to complete one, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen, this year for the first time ever. Um, and I might have an opportunity to do it before the end of the year, but if I don't, I'm not tripping. Uh, looking forward to doing it at least once a year, maybe more, depending on the budget and the need, the need and the budget, bi'idhanillahi um, ta'ala. So that summarizes and concludes my health and fitness uh, goals as of right now. Um, I can't think of anything else that I can add or take away right now. Um, so hopefully when I'm resetting my New Year's goals and resolutions, I'll have something better or more important or better aligned, bi'idhanillahi ta'ala. Um, the next category is neatness and abundance. Um, some of it are private, uh, so let's see this one here. Um, I easily and successfully renewed my license plates before the end of 2019. Um, Alhamdulillah, I was able to successfully do that, even though it was a little bit challenging. Very challenging, actually. It took me like, uh, like at least a month or two because I had an engine problem and so many other craziness with the car. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to move for, move forward from that. Bidin illahi ta'ala. My the next goal is I easily successfully renewed my uh, uh, my townhouse lease uh, for another year before the end of 2019. Inshallah. Um, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, I was able to renew the lease. Uh, looking forward to seeing what the opportunities are next year, bi'idhanillahi ta'ala. Rents just keep going up and up and up in Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, the lifestyle here is a little something, something else, man. Income, every year is going up like this. Expenses, <laughs> Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, ala kulli hal. So I was able to successfully do that. Um, uh, this next goal is a little private, so I'll keep it at that. I haven't been able to achieve it yet, but I'm slowly but surely getting myself in a situation where I can be the Nillahi Ta'ala, or I can at least start the process, inshallah. Um, what I've realized, one, one of the, I've gained a lot of insights about goals and resolutions throughout the years. Um, some of them were disappointing and motivational. Some of them were just downright amazing. Um, and one of the things that I found out is in order to achieve your goals and dreams, you have to have time. No, you have to have money. You have to have time. You have to have teamwork. And you have to have energy and whatever else it takes. So those are the five ingredients to achieve your goals and dreams. So maybe that's a great book idea. Um, I've been brainstorming, you know, the first book that I should write. I've had so many different ideas has been changing. Maybe I could start off with the five ingredients of success. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Inshallah. Good. Let me know what you guys think about that idea that I just came up with right now. Um, but yeah, I've realized you have to have those five ingredients um, to, to be able to achieve blissful success, right? Um, you have to have the money, you have to have the time, you have to have the teamwork, you have to have the energy and whatever else it takes uh, to be able to achieve your goals and dreams. And I really didn't realize that for the longest time. Um, and I thought money was not important and all these things. And I'm not saying money is everything, but imagine like if you didn't have gas money, would you be able to make it to the masjid? And I'm not, like I said, money is not everything, but money impacts everything. Um, so I'm, I've been dealing with a lot of that. Um, and, and the more goals that I achieve, the more I realize, yo, you really have to have your money situation right, your time management right, and uh, your, your, your teamwork right, your energy right, um, and whatever else it takes, right? So um, yeah, I think, I, I think that's what I'm going to do, inshallah. That's my first book. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. 
Um, inshallah, that's what it'll be. Uh, let's see. Let me know what you guys suggest. Honestly, what 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 do you think my first book should be? I'm going with uh, the five ingredients of success. Uh, oh, so there's energy and effort. So that's the other part of that. So the two parts. So let me get, let me know what you, if you if you could read a book from me, what would you like for me to to, to write it on? Uh, Bidin Allahi Taala. Um, because I, inshallah, sooner or later I will have a book out. I just don't know what it is yet. Um, maybe Ridwanullah should be my first book. And then the five ingredients of success. So inshallah, uh, I think that feels a lot better that Ridwanullah is my first book. Um, and then, you know, the five ingredients of success, of success is another book that I'll be writing, inshallah, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows. So, um, yeah, the first book I'll write is called is going to be called Radwanullah. I think that's what I'm going to move forward towards. And then um, I will continuously improve on that because I feel like that's the most important message that I could ever give. Um, and anything else after that is just in and, in and around that. So, uh, Radwanullah how to achieve the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this dunya and in the akhirah will be my first book officially. I've decided right now. If you guys have anything else, let me know what you guys thought. I don't know what you guys think. And I'm still trying to figure out a lot of things. ta'ala. I don't know how I got to that rant, uh, but I'm, I'm happy that I did. <laughs> okay. Um, the next goal is I easily and successfully cleaned our house and home and home office at least 12 times before the end of the year. Um, I haven't been able to focus on that because of so many things that have been going on in my life. Uh, but hopefully one this busy, extremely busy season settles, which I don't think it will anytime in the future. But um, I'll be able to get back on, on a better cleaning routine. So far, I'm, I, I have been doing the best that I can with what I have. Uh, but I could be doing a lot better in that being in the ta'ala. Um, the next goal is I easily and successfully uh, bought a shelf from my home office uh, before the end of 2019, inshallah. Um, haven't been able to achieve that yet. Looking forward to seeing if you know if I still need that or if I want it be the Nilahi Ta'ala. Um, the next goal is I easily and successfully improved my wardrobe before the end of 2019. I uh, have a lot of war, ma uh, wardrobe malfunction and everything else in between. Um, so looking forward to that, bidin illahi ta'ala. I've improved a little bit, but I'm not paying attention to it for some reason. My wife keeps telling me, bruh, I'm like, chill, I'll do it, I'll do it. It never happens. Uh, <laughs> but inshallah khair. Um, Um, this next goal is private, so I'll just leave it at that. Bidin illahi ta'ala. I'm just adding another private goal here uh, to my neatness and abundance goals, but inshallah, we'll see. Um, so I haven't been able to achieve this one that I'm adding, obviously. Um, the next goal is I easily and successfully washed our cars at least, uh, four times before the end of the year. I try to do, I'm, I'm trying to do like a complete detail, detailing, uh, you know, once a quarter, just to kind of keep everything nice. I'm really, really bad at that. Uh, but I set the intention. I haven't been able to achieve that yet. Maybe because I don't like my car, but <laughs> that's a whole nother topic. But inshallah, we'll see. Um, I'm trying to build good habits of cleaning, even if I don't like the car. 
so that when I get a better car, be the Allah Taala, inshallah, um, I'll be able to, you know, have that those good habits moving forward, be the Allah. Um, so that actually concludes the neatness and abundance goals. Um, there are probably a few things that I can think about, but right now I'll just leave it there. Um, Um, I'm thinking about the, 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 the other business inventories that I've had, but um, that's probably something for the future in, in, in the business category. So I'll just leave it at that. I can't think of anything else aside from that. Um, so the next chunk of goals and the last one within my dean and self is my uh, quarterly Ridwanullah retre retreats. Uh, my quarterly uh, Radwanullah retreats, travel, uh, travel, adventure, and fun goals. Um, I'm just trying to update the title so it actually reflects what I want it to be. My quarterly goals are non-negotiables in my life. Um, uh, I mean, my quarterly retreats are my non Radwanullah retreats are my non-negotiables in life. Um, even though right now it's in a up in the air. Either way, even if I'm gonna get at least 10% of my quarterly retreats. I'm not going to leave it. That's the bare minimum that I'll do. Uh, you know, obviously, with the with going to at least full and beyond. Uh, so in this goals, I easily and successfully enjoyed all four of my... Uh, all four of my... Uh, quarterly... Uh, red, uh, Ridwanullah retreats um, before end of 2019, inshallah. Um, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, you know, this switching the system kind of is messing me up right now, but um, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, I was able to complete three, and I have my fourth quarter Ridwanullah retreat coming up. Uh, one of my dreams, actually, since 2019, or probably before that, I remember in 2019 explaining it to one of my friends. I was telling him I want to be able to host a, a, a retreat, this amazing retreat. We're going to an exotic location and we're, you know, learning and growing so much and having fun and enjoying our each other's company and masterminding and everything else that you could imagine. Um, and I've attempted a couple of times and it failed miserably. Uh, actually, it was a success because I actually got, a, you know, a handful of people to register and I was able to complete it. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. But one of my li lifelong dreams is to host a successful quarterly retreat, inshallah. Um, hopefully when it's available, you guys can join us. Obviously, it costs money. Uh, at least a couple of hundred, if not a couple of thousand more uh, or more. Um, so hopefully you guys can save up for that and join us for those quarterly retreats that are just unbelievable. Um, it's been one of the most amazing gifts from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala amongst the numerous so needless to say, I've successfully achieved that. I'm excitedly looking forward to my fourth quarter uh, Radwan Allah retreat. I hope you guys could take your own retreats. Um, and if you want to know how to do it the right way when it is available, join us on our quarterly retreats. Um, next goal is I easily and successfully uh, visited family in a specific state. I don't want to mention right now just because I want it to be a surprise. Um, before the end of 2019, I don't think it'll happen, but you know, miracles do exist. Uh, but inshallah, hopefully next year, be the Um, the next goal is, man, I don't know if, if I should call Umrah and Hajj, you know, quarterly retreats under this travel, adventure and fun category. Um, it is that, but I'll save it for something else. But anything outside of that will fall into this category. Um, so next goal is I easily and successfully went to Miami, Florida for one of my quarterly retreats before the end of 2019, inshallah. Um, I don't think it's going to happen this year. Uh, even miracles might not be able to pull that off right now, but you know, you never know. But inshallah, maybe I could pull this off next year. Um, I easily and successfully went water rafting. 
um, at least once before the end of 2019. I might try it during my fourth quarter retreat, but it being winter it might not be good timing. Uh, but inshallah, we'll see how that goes. Ta'ala. So I haven't really been able to achieve that. Um, any other uh, travel adventure and fun goals? Uh, see, the, the, the hard part about it is some of these goals belong in different categories. Like when it's uh, when it's my uh, Hajj or Umrah or when it's visiting family, you know, I still have the family category and things like that. So I really have to figure that out, bithinillahi ta'ala. Um, there's a couple of other goals that I can think about. Um, I haven't been able to, you know, enjoy as much ad travel, adventure, and fun as I would like to, but that's what my quarterly retreats are for. I haven't really decided which city I'm going to go to yet. Um, it's going to be something down south because usually south is a little bit warmer than up north. So I really try to go down south, uh, usually during the winter, fall, winter seasons. Um, and I really try to go up north during, uh, you know, summer, uh, fall and summer seasons. So um, that's how I usually break it down. Um, I feel like there's a couple of things that I want to put in there, like uh, visiting my parents at least once a year. Uh, but that's actually... A part of the family and relatives goal. The other one that I'm thinking about is going on another family trip um, before the end of the year, most likely next year, inshallah. Um, but that is going to be under the family category as well. Um, my wife and children are going to go, inshallah, but um, I'm still trying to work out the details, inshallah. Or we're, we're still trying to work out the details. So that's basically it with uh, the um, the Dean and Self part, uh, one of four. Um, I'm going to add uh, family and relatives, and then we're going to take a break. And then, inshallah, get back to it with the other half, with the finances and work, and Ummah and world, bithinillahi ta'ala. So since family and relatives are a little bit more private, I'll just kind of work through that a, a little faster, inshallah. Um, family and relatives goals. Um, I easily and successfully uh, communicated and connected with family and relatives before the end of the uh, of 2019, inshallah. Um, I'm slowly but surely improving on that, uh, looking forward to doing better. Um, I've, I've done a lot better on one side, uh, trying to improve on the, all the sides of my family and relatives, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. Um, I easily and successfully hosted and was a part of at least two family gatherings before the end of the year. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, we've had a couple of reasonable gatherings in 2019, uh, so we were able to successfully achieve that goal. Um, actually, maybe more than that, so Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, that was great. Um, I, w I easily and successfully went to the lake and hiked with my family before the end of 2019. Uh, what for some reason wasn't able to do it this year because of other planned family activities that we had. Uh, so looking forward to doing that next year, bithinillahi ta'ala. Um, I easily and successfully hosted at least or attended at least two family meetings before the end of 2019. Um, haven't been able to do that, uh, but inshallah, looking forward to it, bithinillahi ta'ala. So those are just some of the general goals. Um, the spouse and children goals, uh, obviously private. Uh, haven't been able to do that yet, but looking forward to it, bithinillahi ta'ala. The next goal, haven't been able to do that yet, uh, but looking forward to it, bithinillahi ta'ala. I'm just adding a goal that should have been in here, but maybe is. Maybe I'm just jumping the gun. Uh, 
Um, so I haven't been able to achieve that. Haven't been able to achieve that. Uh, looking forward to it in the next year. Um, haven't been able to achieve that. These probably been a little bit of a problem area, so I'm trying to figure out how to take care of it, inshallah. Um, haven't been able to achieve that yet either. Uh, haven't been able to achieve that either. Uh, haven't been able to achieve that either. Next goal. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. This one is another private goal and we were able to successfully achieve that. Um, this kind of became irrelevant in a way, but haven't been able to achieve that yet. But looking forward to seeing what we could do with it. Um, this one is another redundant one, but haven't been able to achieve that yet. Uh, we were able to successfully achieve this one, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Um, this one was uh, successfully achieved. Uh, this next one was successfully achieved. All of these are private. Um, uh, this one is an ongoing thing and we were able to successfully achieve that. Uh, my wife is the one who's taking care of a lot of that. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Um, haven't been able to achieve that. Um, most likely for next year. Um, this one is another one that's linked to the one before, which is still private, so we're looking forward to that. Um, this one, let's just keep it private as well. Um, I was able to successfully achieve that. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. This one is a redundant one that I did jump the gun on, so I'll just erase it. Um, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, that's all the spouse and children goals, uh, parents, siblings, nieces and nephew goals. Um, uh, this one I'm doing a lot, a lot better. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, uh, haven't been able to achieve it. Well, I don't know how that, that works. I was able to achieve it, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, but it's an ongoing battle. Um, this one I haven't been able to achieve, uh, but it's something that's always on my mind. Looking forward to taking care of it, inshallah. Um, haven't been able to achieve that yet, but looking forward to it in the near future, probably next year, inshallah. Uh, this one I haven't been able to achieve yet. Looking forward to it, inshallah. Um, this one I'm, I'm helping indirectly or achieved it indirectly, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. Um, so that's good. Uh, this next goal I'm, I'm doing indirectly as well, uh, but hopefully we can address it, inshallah. Um, this one I haven't been able to yet. Well, actually, yeah, we did actually. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. So we were able to successfully achieve this. You guys don't know, but it's a private one. We'll just keep it at that. Um, I haven't been able to achieve this to the best of my ability, but doing the best that I can. Uh, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, looking forward to that. Um, haven't been able to fully do this, but inshallah, looking forward to it, inshallah. Uh, um, this one is an ongoing battle, uh, actively trying to help uh, in that capacity. Um, so inshallah, looking forward to that. Um, there's a lot of other goals that I can think about to update with my family's category, but I'll just save that for the New Year's goals and resolutions since we're so close. Um, <clears throat> the next category is grandparents, aunts, uncles, and cousins. Um, haven't been able to be actively doing that, but I've been doing it indirectly, so looking forward to improving on that. Um, I've been doing the best that I can on my part, uh, but I could be doing a lot better on this goal, but inshallah, looking forward to improving on that. 
Um, this goal was something that I haven't done actually for like three, four years, sadly. So I'm looking forward to taking care of it and making it right. Uh, ta'ala. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, uh, this next goal, one part of it is getting worse, the other part of it has got, gotten a lot better. Um, so I'm looking forward to uh, improving one part of it as well, bidhanillahi ta'ala. It's been something that's been bugging me a lot, a lot lately. Uh, but looking forward to improving on that as well, bidhanillahi ta'ala. Uh, this next goal, the last month I haven't been doing very well in. Um, but inshallah, hopefully this next month, these next couple of months coming up since I've gotten a little bit adjusted to this hectic schedule, um, I'll be able to uh, uh, do a lot better with it, bithanillahi ta'ala. Um, this next goal, I just simply don't have the capacity and capability, but still looking forward to it, bithanillahi ta'ala. Um, this next goal, I haven't been able to, I've been thinking about it every now and then, uh, but I haven't been able to do it, do anything with it yet, so looking forward to doing that, bithanillahi ta'ala. Um, this one, uh, last month, I haven't been able to do very well with it, but I'm like I said, I'm looking forward to improving that. Uh, this might be like a repetitive one, but I'll see it next time. Um, this next goal um, is still pending. I'm doing the best that I can. Looking forward to improving on that. And be the nillahi ta'ala. This next goal, um, alhamdulillah rabbil alameen, was an amazing success. Uh, it's been a very struggling part for, for a loved one. Uh, but alhamdulillah rabbil alameen, they were able to overcome it in a great fashion. Alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Um, this next goal has been uh, something that's been on my mind. has been going great so far. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, doing the best that I can there. Uh, this next goal has been one that I've been working on for months and is probably in its last lap. Um, hopefully, uh, I'm trying to get it done by this month, which is December. Um, haven't been able to get it done last month. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Um, the next goal is the parents. Uh, and family-in-law goals. Um, uh, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, even though I, I wasn't focused on this particular first goal, um, you know, it's been taken care of. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Um, this next goal, I haven't been able to fully start yet. Uh, looking forward to it, bithanillah ta'ala. Um, same thing with the next goal. Um, and the same thing with the next goal, sadly. Um, and next one, I'm just going to re-strategize this one right here and make it a little bit better, bithanillahi ta'ala. Um, so I'm still in the process of those, planning and preparing for these goals, inshallah. Um, this next goal I haven't been able to achieve yet, so looking forward to that as well, bithanillahi ta'ala, or just, you know, let, you know, things take their course. Um, the next goal is... Uh, this one is a more general goal, I'm doing a lot better with it, alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Um, this next goal was a complete success. One of the biggest problems that and challenges that we had as a family, um, we were able to overcome it. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Um, and I'm so happy that we were able to. Um, there's probably a couple of other things that I could add on to this one as well, but I'll save it for the New Year's goals and resolutions. Um, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. That is pretty much it for right now. With these, That's the first half of my life. Uh, we're going to get into the second half um, after this break. Uh, we're going to get into the finances and work. Um, and we're going to get into the ummah in the world, bithanillahi ta'ala. Um, and hopefully we can successfully finish that as well. Um, Jazakumullahu khair. Uh, hopefully see you soon. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We are back and inshallah we will continue on from there and we'll try to wrap up as quickly as possible because I got to get going. <laughs> uh, so inshallah we shall see how that goes. So we're moving on to the next category, finances and work. 
Um, I've, I've, it's been adjusting a lot lately, so I'll just kind of go through it one by one. Um, the first one is the income goals. Um, so I, 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 I said I'll easily make at least 62.5% baseline net income uh, before the end of 2019. Inshallah. So um, so this goal, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, um, it, it's not nearly where I want it to be, to be quite honest with you guys. Uh, Percentage-wise, I haven't even really run, ran the numbers yet uh, to be able to see fully. Um, it's headed in a better direction, but you know, with so many things changing in my, fin my income situation, um, I haven't been able to uh, get it to that level. Um, I'm probably like around 20% short this year, sadly. Uh, but the good thing is that at least 62.5% baseline net income uh, or profit uh, actually leaves me a little bit of wiggle room. Um, so inshallah, hopefully I can continuously maximize uh, getting to that goal and then continuously maximizing my income. So I'm, I'm not too happy with the way things have been, uh, but I am extremely happy with uh, the way things are going part of it. <laughs> Um, hopefully we'll, we'll be able to improve on that um, This one is a, is a private one So we'll just leave it at that I haven't been, I haven't been able to achieve that yet um, Actually let me just tell you um, I easily successfully started At least 1% of halal passive income stream uh, For financial freedom uh, Before the end of 2019 inshallah so it's not just financials financial uh, time and location I would say freedom and flexibility uh, before end of 2019 inshallah I haven't been able to I'm still trying to fit one of the things that I've realized that I've been facing a lot of challenges with uh, the finances and work aspect of my life is the interest, the riba. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to do things in a halal way, m earn money in a halal way, um, budget my money in a halal way, uh, you know, in, in, in maximize my net worth in a halal way through investments, uh, real estate, and so many things that I'm thinking about, but I feel like I have so many uh, limiting beliefs around that that I have to expand it and, 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 and improve on it. ta'ala Like, Buying a house uh, is, is, is pretty much like non-existent in, in, in my thoughts and feelings in a realistic way for one way or the other. And I'm trying to change that uh, because I really want to be able to, um, you know, not take uh, a huge amount of money to, to a land, landlord uh, on a monthly basis. So, inshallah, hopefully as I learn more about this and if you're a professional in, the, in those fields. Um, and I know some there are some, uh, you know... People say that it's halal when it's really not. Um, so I'm trying to watch out for those as well. And I hope that you are as well. Because interest is, you know, fighting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger. A'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim A'udhu billah. So um, let's move on from there. I'm, I've had a couple of ideas on how I can establish that. Um, even the, the other sad part about it is another, you know, inner conflict is... Uh, I want to be able to make money from advertising, but with the way that the advertisements are set up right now on YouTube or any of these uh, automatic platforms is they could just advertise anything. And as Muslims, we cannot accept that because uh, we have to accept it from a halal means. So, you know, a lot of these things that a lot of these options are not available for Muslims. It's not Islamic in a halal way. Um, and so many other challenges as well. So. I'm trying to figure out how to, uh, you know, 
get these big corporations and platforms to start offering halal options and or we create one for ourselves honestly it's about time um, you know obviously the ones that we personally are sponsored by and advertising for uh, hopefully we'll get a advertiser and sponsor soon um, advertiser and or sponsor soon for the Redwan Ola TV uh, but you know I, I would love to be able, like I, I was watching this guy he's making like literally thousands upon thousands a month through his YouTube ad ad revenue and I'm like ah! but inshallah hopefully sooner or later uh, I'll be able to get it to those numbers and uh, we'll be able to move forward but those are just some side thoughts um, I easily and successfully uh, filed my 2018 taxes before the end of 2000 oh man okay so i've i've successfully filed my 2018 taxes before the end what so this is 2019 should have been 2018 uh before the end of Uh, before the end of 2019 obviously you know that we have to do it in the earlier seasons and I did it as early as I possibly could Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen looking forward to doing that next year Bidhanillahi Ta'ala um, this one I'll just keep private for right now we'll move forward from there um, I easily I think this one is more of a budget one Yeah, this one's definitely a budgeting goal. So let me just move those down, inshallah. <clears throat> um, the next goal is I easily and successfully learn how to make at least six figures uh, before the end of 2019, inshallah. Um, I'm slowly but surely working towards getting my income to the six figure level at least. And beyond, inshallah. So, uh, looking forward to doing that. Bidhanillahi ta'ala. So, those are all the income goals that I can think about right now. Actually, there's a couple. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's pretty much it for the income goal. Uh, moving on to the budgeting, budgeting goals. Um, I easily and successfully saved at least 10% of my net income before the end of 2019, inshallah. Um, been failing miserably with that, but hopefully things will change in the future as everything else in my life is changing as well. Um, uh, next goal is I, I easily and successfully stuck to one financial and accounting calendar system, which is the Gregorian calendar. As of right now, fortunately or unfortunately, I would love it to be the Hijri calendar, but everything else is pretty much on the Gregorian calendar um, so that's that's what I'll have to stick with for right now until we'll be able to find something better, which is the Hijri calendar, inshallah. Um, I easily and successfully tracked my um, personal and business uh, budget for at least three months uh, before the end of 2019. Um, I've really been struggling with, uh, you know, doing my budget. It's like, honestly, I've been trying to do my budget for about 15 years, 10 to 15 years now. Uh, subhanallah. And for some reason, I'm starting to get the bigger picture down, which before I did it. And now trying to get the big picture of the budgeting done, the, the, the details are not that good. But before I didn't have the big picture, my details was good, but nothing was actually adding up. So I'm learning a lot about budgeting and uh, November has been one of the most important lessons I've learned about budgeting, to be quite honest with you, that I've been wrestling with for a very long time. And that's just basically 
You put your personal finances and budgeting first and then your business finances after. For some reason, I thought you had to put your business finances first because and budgeting first because you're making money and then with your personal, you're spending money. But that's not how it works. You really have to take care of your personal finances first and then your business finances and budgeting after. So that's been a real, real game changer for me that I want to just be able to share with you. Um, so I haven't been able to do that. Hopefully I can do that in the new year as I'm gathering myself to, to actually start it in December and then continue those good habits of budgeting uh, next year. Um, I easily and successfully created an annual... Uh, I had business and personal, but it's personal and business budget uh, for 2020 before the end of 2019, inshallah. I'm looking forward to hopefully completing that before the end of the year. Uh, next, I easily and successfully chose an accounting calendar, uh, redundant. So let me just... Actually, no, it's not redundant. So sticking to it and choosing is two different things. So let me backtrack that a little bit. Okay, so I was actually able to achieve that because decision is a huge part. Um, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Uh, next goal is I easily, I easily and successfully learned the best money management strategy for me as a Muslim before the end of 2019. Um, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, I found a system that, that worked for me. I actually created a system, money management system that really, really works for me as a Muslim. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Um, so I'm definitely uh, success successfully achieved that one. Um, I easily and successfully uh, took a financial peace university program uh, with my wife and kids before the end of 2019. Haven't been able to do that yet. Looking forward to it. Be the Nilahi Taala. I easily and successfully took. Um, finance, accounting, and bookkeeping course online uh, before the end of 2019 um, for personal and business. Haven't been really able to do that yet, but I'm still improving financially to be able to do that. Uh, next and last goal is I easily and successfully... What? Found a money... Oh! Money management mentor before the end of 2019, inshallah. Um, there's a couple of people that I'm, I'm thinking about, haven't really found them yet. But I have a little bit of list that I want to be able to just connect with and ask them questions about certain things. Uh, inshallah, I'll be able to move forward from there. Um, the next goal is the net worth goals. Um, So my overall, so I've been struggling to think, you know, should I do my personal net worth goal or my family net worth goals? Um, everybody's telling you to do, I think, a family net worth. Some of them are telling you individual. Some of them are telling you family. Um, as of right now, I'm sticking to my personal net worth because simply because zakat is due on the individual, not the family. Um, so it only makes sense to do it that way. But for marriage and everything else, it's good to consider everything. Um, and that's what we're going to do. But as of right now, what I'm going to report to you, inshallah, is my personal net worth goals. And then I'll also consider my family's net worth as well. Uh, and when I say my family, I mean my immediate family, my uh, wife and kids, inshallah. Um, So overall right now with my net worth goal, let's see where I'm. I'm supposed to be at about 92% right now. Um, and my net worth goal so far is at 57%. So 92 minus 57 I'm about 35% short on my uh, net worth goal. It's because I've been thrown in a limbo and um, before I was considering my, my family's net worth. 
so a lot of things have shifted. So I'm just going to focus on my individual net worth for right now and then consider my family's net worth. When, when I first initially started, I was thinking about my family's net worth and we've actually surpassed the goal that we've had uh, so far. But backtracking to my personal net worth, uh, that's where I'm at right now. Um, about 57%, um, 35% short, looking forward to improving that, bithin illahi ta'ala. Um, and some of the things that kind of threw that out of whack was, um, you know, I saved up a reasonable amount of money to go to Umrah. So, you know, obviously that's spent. Uh, usually if that was added to my uh, net worth goal, it would have been way surpassed. So um, even though it looks like I'm falling behind, I'm actually way ahead of my goal. Uh, but inshallah, that's that's the beauty about learning is that you learn there's net worth goals that you save up that you spend and then net worth goals that you save up that depreciate and then net worth goals that you save and that appreciates. I'm trying to get out of the, you know, just the spending phase and then hopefully uh, I'll have the depreciating assets phase uh, in a better situation and then the appreciating assets phase uh, that's what I'm trying to get to. And I've actually, there's a, 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 an opportunity that's like literally a couple of blocks away from my house. Uh, that was a couple of millions. Obviously, I can afford that. Uh, but inshallah, hopefully in the future, that will not be a concern for me. ta'ala. Okay, so that's my net worth goal. Uh, next goal is I... Yeah, this one's a little bit out there, so I'll just skip it. Uh, I think this one's a private too, so I'll just skip that. Bidin illahi ta'ala. Haven't been able to achieve it. Um, uh, this one is private, so I'll just skip that. And haven't been able to achieve it. It's connected to other goals in my life as well. Um, this one I've saved, alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. So we're good on that. Um, this one I'm in the process of, it's private. Uh, this one's another private one that, I, that, that I'm still in the process of. Um, this one I've, I've been able to do success, successfully, alhamdulillah, rabbil um, alameen. This one I'm in the process of. Uh, this one is another private one that I'm in the process of. Um, this one is actually related to my passive income goal. So I honestly don't know if I have to save money or just put in sweat equity to create some level of passive income. Uh, but in either of those cases, I'm ready for it. I don't know what are the options out there, what are the opportunities, so I'm exploring. So I want to be able to have enough money uh, to, to invest into creating that, uh, you know, um, halal passive income, bithin illahi ta'ala. I have sufficient money to get started with some of the ideas that I have. I don't know about the other ideas so far, so I'm looking forward to that, bithin illahi ta'ala. Um, I easily and successfully withdrew my 401k at my job before the end of 2019. I know that sounds crazy to some of you guys, uh, but there's a specific reason to it. Um, I easily and successfully withdrew my Lyft balance. Uh, I drove for Lyft once like years ago <laughs> when I was a little bit heavy on my side hustle. Uh, so I haven't really done that yet. So I'm trying to withdraw my balance. Um, I easily and successfully explored and capitalized on halal investment opportunities uh, before the end of 2019, inshallah. Um, I'm not in a, in, a, in a... I have some money to invest, but I'm not in a situation to invest right now. Um, I'm looking at various investment options. If you are an investment pro or even a reasonable person, uh, let me know uh, what you're investing in and if they're working for you and if you're actually making money off of it. Um, and if your investments are growing, um, then I'll be able to successfully achieve that myself. But hopefully sooner or later, I'll be able to gain more knowledge, more opportunities to execute on. So those are all of my net worth goals, bidinillahi ta'ala. Now we're going to get into the work goals. Um, this is just my jobs, the businesses, 
um, that I have, bidhanillahi ta'ala. Um, so the first one is my first job. Um, So I easily and successfully maximized my income from my job before the end of 2019. Um, Alhamdulillah, even though there's been a lot of changes, I've been doing the best that I can with, with what I have right now. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Um, I easily and successfully was punctual um, and highly productive in my job before the end of 2019. Um, I actually have a lot to improve on. I've improved a lot, but I still have a lot to improve on, inshallah, in that department. Um, I easily and successfully continue to work from home full time, um, as long as that as long as that it is available um, um, through 2019, inshallah. And alhamdulillah, rabbil alamin, I was able to successfully do that. Um, this goal, I honestly never thought it was possible, um, and by the by the grace and will of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, I was able to actually achieve that goal, which was a miracle in and of itself. Um, and just the way things are, pet, you know, working out, has been unbelievable. Alhamdulillah, rabbil So I'm, uh, that that's when I said, um, uh, you know, December November has been huge for me. This is what I meant. Um, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen um, And it's a very very private one So I won't be able to let you know right now At least maybe hopefully in, in the future You guys will be able to see what it was Inshallah uh, The next goal is I easily and successfully improve my relationships uh, With our customers um, Before the end of 2019 Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen I'm improving uh, trying to, I have a lot more room for improvement, but I'm a lot better than I used to be so far. Um, um, the next goal is I easily and successfully improve my relationships. Uh, I would say with my team members. And I will group... You know, the leaders, managers, supervisors, team leads, co-workers, partners, uh, all of that under this category, bidhanillahi ta'ala, so that it's not so redundant. Um, so overall, in terms of my relationship, uh, relationships with my team at, at, at my job, um, overall, it's not in a bad situation. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, you know, uh, uh, for some reason at work, I'm a very quiet person. Um, and, um, you know, it's not bad, but it could be a lot better. Right, you know, people. I, I respect people. I, I treat people with kindness and, and respect, and to the best of my abilities. 
Um, but I think my productivity is affecting my relationships. So I really have to figure out how to improve both of them. So overall, um, I'm, I'm doing okay. Could be doing a lot better in that department. Um, I easily and successfully hit at least 100% of my monthly uh, sales goal at, uh, before the end of 2019, inshallah. Um, Alhamdulillah, recently with a lot of things been changing and shifting at work, I've struggled to hit my goal. Whereas before, I used to consistently at least hit 104%. But I'm trying to figure this whole thing out and trying to get back to it, inshallah. Uh, so last month hasn't been uh, that great for me. Uh, but looking forward to improving that with uh, this month, this next December to finish it off strong and to start the new year off strong. Be the Allah Ta'ala. One goal that I'll add here is I easily and successfully completed my performance review before end of 2019 inshallah um, and alhamdulillah we were able to successfully complete that my half of it now we're gonna have to do the manager's half of it hopefully it goes well and hopefully um, uh, I still get a raise inshallah <laughs> okay so let's see uh, the next goal is um, I easily and successfully and consistently hit at least 50% uh, of my monthly conversion rate goal uh, before the end of the year. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, like I said, with a lot of things changing, it's been a struggle to hit that goal. Uh, but looking forward to improving on that, bidin illahi ta'ala. Um, I easily improve on my career development. Um, before the end of 2019, um, yes, Alhamdulillah, I was able to improve on that a lot. Um, so, looking forward to improving in that capacity, even in Allah Ta'ala. Um, I have been thinking about my career a lot lately, a lot more than I ever thought possible or necessary for some reason. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to share with you guys what those thoughts are. Uh, but as of right now, I realized uh, my dream position is to be a CEO, um, uh, you know, CEO of a, of, a, of a company, CEO of my own business or at the very least someone else's business and you know most likely my own businesses uh ta'ala and my career track to get to become a CEO uh it's it's going to be a very very tough one because i have a lot of uh, limiting beliefs and 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 realities that i have to overcome in terms of you know my perception of the prejudice and discrimination that is out there against a black muslim living in in the west for the most part uh, but looking forward to that, bidinillahi ta'ala, that I'll have to kind of break through all these limiting beliefs and realities to be able to become, um, you know, a black Muslim CEO in the West and hopefully in the East as well, bidinillahi ta'ala. So that's the conclusion that I came up with. It's a lot of work, inner work that I had to do uh, to be able to even come up with that decision. I am an actual founder and CEO, chief everything officer, not executive. <laughs> I actually thought about that. I'm a chief everything officer because when you're starting out your business, you're doing everything from this to that to everything, janitorial, ordering, everything. And then once you're doing everything, you'll be able to replace those positions with individuals. Um, and and then that's how you you know tend to grow your business. So just some thoughts that I had. Uh, I think it's very, very important to have a career choice. 
Um, and sadly, a CEO is not really something that's kind of presented out there. So I actually, I'm just going to start applying for CEO positions and see uh, which ones I get. All right, one second. Let's see. Alhamdulillah uh, Rabbil Alameen. My family came in a lot earlier than I anticipated, so I'll be finishing up the monthly goals reports upstairs in my home office, inshallah. Um, so we shall continue here. Um, I had a lot of thoughts about my career and everything and some of the conclusions that I came up with, and it just feels good to say it out loud um, that you know my dream position is to become a CEO, bidhanillah ta'ala. And then I'll be working on climbing up the ranks or just creating it myself, be the nila. Um, so the next goal is let's see. Okay. Um, so moving on to, uh, and, and there's one other thing that I have as a goal here that's a little bit more private um, as of right now. So I'll just leave it at that. Um, I'll just leave it at that. Bidhanillahi um, ta'ala. Hopefully I'll be able to share with you in the future. Um, now getting on to my business, businesses I should say. Uh, because I have businesses within businesses and it's the business, you heard? Um, all right, so the business goals, um, um, I easily and successfully renewed all business. Uh, licenses, license and registration before the end of 2019. Um, Alhamdulillah, um, everything looks good so far. Um, uh, I think there's a couple that are coming up that I have to pay attention to so inshallah I'll be looking forward to that so everything looks good on that end um, the next goal is I easily and successfully hosted our first annual Ridwanullah conference here in Salt Lake City, Utah before the end of 2019 inshallah and that's a placeholder so we'll just move on from there um, I easily and successfully started uh, Ridwanullah University. Um, university uh, life maximization program uh, before the end of 2019. Um, hands down, one of the biggest accomplishments um, uh, in my life and business was launching. Ridwanullah University's Life Maximization Program. Um, so that's been an amazing, amazing accomplishment. Um, hopefully we'll get more students coming in on a monthly basis. Uh, so, you know, feel free to join us. We really, really appreciate to have you. Bidhani Lai Ta'ala is $30 per month. Um, so that's a big, 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 big goal that I've achieved. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Uh, the next one is I easily and successfully started... Um, Ridwanullah University Ridwanullah University's Business Maximization Program um, This is a program that I that I want to start Bidhanillahi Ta'ala to help um, Islamic um, entrepreneurs uh, start their businesses run and grow it just like I am to the best of my to the best of their abilities um, so, you know, this is, I've had a lot of fears and inner struggles with launching that program more so than the life program, uh, the life maximization program, but inshallah, you know, I want to be able to establish, like I've established the Radwanullah University life maximization program in 2019, and I want to be able to establish Radwanullah University business maximization program in 2020. So if you guys are Islam... Uh, aspiring or current Islamic entrepreneurs and you guys would like to gain you know good training and coaching uh, from me on a monthly basis uh, through a monthly membership keep your eyes open and I'll be able to 
share with you a lot more details and information there, be ta'ala. Um, so I'm looking forward to doing that next year. Um, I easily and successfully kept my website up and running. Um, and I will have my web host back and renew my domain name uh, through 2019, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, I was able to successfully do that. It's not where it needs to be, but it's a start. Um, you can check it out at, you can check us out at ridwanullah.com bithinillahi ta'ala so that was successful um, I easily and successfully created regular traffic visitors for my website ridwanullah.com before the end of 2019 inshallah I um, haven't been able to focus on that right now. I just don't have the capacity or capability. But hopefully in the future, I'll be able to focus more on that to build my business. Um, I easily and successfully renewed uh, my online teaching software before the end of 2019. I should say got. Well, renewed. I'll just leave it there. Um, I'm, I'm, I have it right now, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, and it's continuing, so uh, we should be good to go on that end. Um, I easily and successfully got a closed loop online live webinar tool, training and coaching system uh, before the end of 2019, inshallah. Um, I haven't been able to find one that was useful. I'm using what I have right now. Uh, and it's been working great so far, but I just feel like it could be a lot better. So I'm looking for my options right now. Haven't been able to do that yet. Um, I easily and successfully got an Amazon seller's account uh, before the end of the year. Uh, I would say personal and professional. Seller's account. Um, I'm not really sure where the Amazon business, uh, Amazon uh, seller's account fits in my business model right now. Actually, I do, but I think I, it's probably a couple of months to maybe a couple of years away right now. So um, I'll just leave that as a placeholder for right now. Um, I easily and successfully launched my first physical product online. Um, Uh, before the end of the year um, It doesn't look like that's gonna happen my first product I'll just tell you right now is my Radwanullah planner. It's a physical planner that you write on uh, 40 it's it's based on a 47 week. it's $47 uh, Based on a 47 week year productivity system be the ta'ala That I personally use to be as productive as I ca as I possibly can be Uh, next goal, I easily and successfully built my email list to at least a certain amount before the end of 2019. Um, nothing has been moving in that department, sadly, but hopefully when, I'm, when I have more capacity and capability and I can focus on that, uh, then I'll be able to do so. If you would like to help me with that and you would like to join our uh, mailing list, send an email to radwanolaorganization at gmail.com. Okay, um, next goal. Um, I easily and successfully created an email subscription option. Uh, email opt-in form on my website um, before the end of 2019. I haven't been able to do that yet because of capacity and capability right now. Um, I easily and successfully updated my website's homepage before the end of 2019. Same story, unfortunately, I haven't been able to achieve that yet. 
uh, because of capacity and capability. Um, I easily and successfully created a direct custom link to Redwanullah University's life maximization program. Um, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, I was able to successfully do that. Um, it sounds easy right now, but when I was starting, it just felt like a complete chaos. Um, I easily and successfully uh, updated Radwanullah University's life maximization programs sales page before the end of 2019. Um, haven't been able to put any time into that yet because of capacity and capability. Hopefully I'll have time for that uh, next year, inshallah. Um, I easily and successfully created a very valuable free opt-in, uh, free email opt-in offer uh, before the end of 2019, inshallah. Um, I'm still thinking about what to offer you guys that will make it enticing for you guys uh, to, to help my business, but more importantly, to help you on your journey to completely maximizing your life. Um, so um, let me know if you guys have any ideas. Maybe I could do like a free training program, um, some forms, some ebooks, whatever you guys would like. Uh, I'll be able to create it for you guys. So your, your ideas will definitely help, even if you are on our mailing list. Uh, because you'll still be able to benefit from the offer up front, be in Allah Ta'ala. The next goal is I easily and successfully got my uh, Radwanullah organization YouTube channel to at least 350 subscribers um, before the end of the year. Uh, before the end of 2019, inshallah. Um, I think I'm around 260 so far. You know, the sad thing is I've been doing YouTube for years and it's not really growing the way that I want it to. Um, and some people are like starting yesterday. I've, I've been doing it for like four or five years. Um, and I'm at like around 200 subscribers. And people are doing it for like four or five days and they're like a couple of hundred, if not thousands of subscribers already so you know i'm trying to be patient with the process um you know i love the way that i'm growing um and you know only those who understand what i'm trying to do what i want to do and what they want to do and how it could help them will be able to see it and, and within time it'll grow naturally be in ta'ala so your help will be greatly appreciated um, I'm not really doing that well with the subscriptions, but slowly but surely it's still trickling in. It's on a slow but sure up, upward scale, be the Allah Ta'ala. Um, I easily and successfully got my uh, Hussein Mahmoud YouTube channel um, my personal Hussein Mahmoud uh, YouTube channel subscribers to at least 100 before the end of 2019. Uh, last time I checked, I was around 50 on that too. So uh, subscribe to that channel as well. It'd be greatly appreciated, inshallah. Uh, next goal is I easily successfully got our Ridwanullah University Life Maximization Program students to at least a certain amount before the end of 2019. Um, you know, it's been great, a little bit of rocky start as well, but so far it's going better than I anticipated and inshallah we'll continuously work on improving on that. So if you could help me with that goal, join our Radwanullah University Life Maximization Program, I'll be greatly appreciated. Uh, that'll be greatly appreciated, Bidin in Ta'ala. Um, I easily and successfully launched my first online course before the end of 2019, um, inshallah. I'm still thinking about what is the best online course out there that people would need help with. Um, you know, I'm, I'm still going to brainstorm. I don't know what which course to launch or how to even launch it, but I'll figure it out because now I've successfully launched uh, an online program. 
um, uh, an online course would not be harder to do as far as I'm anticipating. So inshallah, looking forward to that. If you guys have any ideas or suggestions, let me know. Uh, next goals, I easily and successfully published my first book uh, before... Um, before end of 2019, inshallah. Um, I'm still thinking about my first book, like I said. Um, it's probably going to be a couple of months, maybe even a couple of years away from now. Uh, but I think I've kind of realized the first book that I should write is called Ridwanullah. How to Achieve uh, Everlasting Blissful Success. Uh, so I'll just put it out there. Um, let me actually just take note of that. So I remember... Um, that's going to be an amazing, amazing project. Um, and that's just to help myself and others. You know, the objective of that is to help myself and others really focus on uh, the the gateway to to the, the only gateway to everlasting blissful success, which is Ridwanullah, uh, the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, so that is, you know, an unofficial announcement as of right now, bidhanillahi ta'ala. I'm thinking about writing the five ingredients uh, to everlasting uh, blissful success as well um, and also um, you know completely maximize your life and business and then focus on life focus on business and so many other book ideas that I have but that's that's my first project uh, that I'll be working on be in light time if you guys have any other ideas or suggestions let me know I'll be able to uh, move move on from there be and this is a real book by the way um, that is just going to be amazing and one of my biggest inspirations is uh, Ibn Jozi um, so I haven't been able to do that and I'm not sure that's just going to be a placeholder for right now uh, next goal is I easily and successfully completed at least 10 uh, speaking engagements um, and or seminars Uh, speaking engagements and or seminars uh, before end of 2019. Um, Alhamdulillah, I think I was able to complete about four to five, maybe eight different speaking engagements. Uh, and I'm talking about the ones that were paid, the ones that were unpaid, maybe that'll get me to the 10. Uh, but right now I'm just focused on the paid engagements and then trying to do as many of the free engagements as I possibly can. Uh, but, you know, just something to keep in mind, bidhanillahi ta'ala. Um, so if you would like for me to speak uh, at your events, send your request budget and details to Organization at gmail.com. It's been uh, one of the uh, you know great career paths that um, I, I thoroughly enjoyed and still enjoy. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Um, I easily and successfully have at least um, at least a certain number of online uh, coaching um, online one-on-one -on -one coaching consulting clients um, every month uh, during uh, 2019 inshallah um, I haven't been able to hit that goal the way that I wanted to with my one-on-one -on -one clients. The group coachings are getting a lot better. But with my one-on-one -on -one clients, I have to build that that up to be able to do that. So if you would like to get specific, detailed one-on-one -on -one coaching and consulting from me online, uh, please send your request, budget, and details to Organization at gmail.com. And we'll be able to uh, move on from there. Bidhanillahi ta'ala. Uh, 
Um, I easily and successfully have at least uh, two sponsors and or I would say advertisers and or sponsors. Uh, for my Radwanullah TV, uh, for my Radwanullah TV and or Patreon, um, uh, every month for uh, Radwanullah TV and or Patreon during 2019, bi ta'ala, inshallah. Um, I haven't been able to achieve that success in that. We always have our default sponsor, Radwanullah Organization. If you would like to become a sponsor, advertiser and or sponsor, send your request, budget and details to Radwanullah Organization at gmail.com, bi ta'ala. Um, I easily and successfully hosted at least one uh, quarterly uh, Ridwanullah retreat uh, before the end of 2019. Um, this one is not something that is a part of the agenda as of right now, unfortunately, but hopefully in the future I'll be able to host, you know, um, a Ridwanullah retreat, be the Nilahi Ta'ala. Uh, next goal is I easily and successfully uh, purchased um, all equipment and supplies for my online uh, for my online and offline businesses. Um, there's a long list that is growing by the day, uh, but inshallah, you know I'm trying to uh, invest my money wisely with the limited funds that I have for right now for the business, uh, but. Hopefully, I could use that to grow it. Be the Nilahi Ta'ala. Next goal is I easily, successfully, and consistently <laughs> uh, posted uh, content on Ridwanullah organization and Hussein Mahmoud uh, YouTube channels uh, before the end of 2019. And Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, I've been very successful at that so far. Um, if you're measuring success by the numbers, I'm not. If you're measuring success by the consistency, then I am. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, which the numbers follow. Um, I easily and successfully did my first official closed loop webinar before the end of 2019, inshallah. Um, I haven't really done that yet. I've done other forms of it, but the one that I'm thinking about is like a free one uh, that's like more of a value add type of thing that is done automatically in a way. Um, but I haven't been able to do that. But I did do it indirectly through my program, my online programs. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Uh, one of the other goals that I didn't write here is um, I will easily and successfully make money online through a closed loop system uh, before end of 2019 inshallah so it's always been a big goal of mine um, so alhamdulillah rabbil alameen i was able to successfully achieve that it's been an unbelievable dream come true uh, for me during 2019 that I'll, i'm looking forward to continuing on uh, in the future be the ta'ala uh, the next goal is I easily and successfully improve my life and business maximization concepts, um, chunks, and strategic systems and workflow before end of 2019, inshallah. I know that's a lot of wordy stuff. That's more for the CEO uh, <laughs> and managers and uh, supervisors. Um, but, you know, I, I was actually... It's, it's been it's been a lot to kind of it's been a lot to kind of think about but alhamdulillah rabbil alameen um it's it's been going great so far i've been improving the concepts uh chunks and strategic systems for my life and business 
um, and I continue to do so and I hope that you do as well. So I've been very, very successful at that. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Even though it's been one of the biggest struggles in my life, to be quite honest with you. And that's what makes it so great. Um, next goal is I easily and successfully and publicly declared my 2019 goals. Uh, goals, dreams, and resolutions <clears throat> through a video before the end of 2019, inshallah. And that usually happens in the beginning of the year in January. Um, so inshallah, I'm looking forward to doing it in 20, for 2020, bi ta'ala. Um, next, next is I easily and successfully published at least 12, 12 monthly goals report, uh, life and business, um, business monthly goals reports, monthly goal reports, uh, before the end of 2019, Alhamdulillah, this is the 11th one, uh, and we only have one more left, Bidhanillah. So it's been going great so far. It's been a little bit of struggle with dealing with the different systems that I had to work through, but it's been going great so far. So it's been very successful. It's been one of the biggest uh, game changers in my life and business, to be quite honest with you. Um, next is I easily and successfully explored capitalizing on other business opportunities, partnerships, and investments uh, before end of 2019. I don't. This is more of a placeholder. I don't have that capacity or capability right now. So I'll just keep that as a placeholder. Be the nilah taala. Um, I easily and successfully explored. Um, halal tech business um, opportunities before the end of the year. Um, this is something that um, as an online aspiring and, and current online entrepreneur, you know, a lot of the products and services that are out there are not designed for Muslims. So we want to be able to create and design product, technological products and services for Muslims. So uh, well, that's what I wanted to explore and kind of talk to individuals who are deeper into the industry than I am. Um, so, inshallah, I haven't been able to do that because of capacity and capability, but inshallah, sooner or later, we'll be able to. Um, next is, I easily and successfully found or chose and focused on my vertical offer before the end of 2019, uh, inshallah. Um, and my core offer, like my, my core business offer right now is Radwanullah University. Um, that is my flagship, my pro, the, the thing that I do. Um, and so there's two parts to it. There's the life maximization program and then the business maximization program. So in the upcoming years, that is going to be my, all of my energy and effort will primarily go towards that. And then whatever else I have time and capacity and capability for. So if you would like to join e any of these programs, I don't have everything set up the way that I need to right now, but you can go to radwanullah.com and then check out um, the university tab and you'll be able to see it there, bidhanillahi um, ta'ala. And then I'll try to have, you know, the courses and programs under the university tab, bidhanillahi ta'ala. But as of right now, maybe I'll have it in the link, check the other videos to find the link. Um, hopefully in the future I won't make you work for it. It'll just be available for you to click on Bidhanillahi um, Ta'ala. So that's, uh, uh, needless to say, I was able to successfully achieve that. It's been a long, long journey to, to that uh, because there's been a lot of inner conflicts to overcome. Um, the side hustle and arbitrage business uh, goals and resolutions is I'll easily get rid of the old gadget zone inventory through this process. Uh, which hasn't happened yet. Um, I did a lot of it, but there's still some that are lingering. Um, the next one is I easily and successfully sold a lot of my unwanted uh, business. Uh, personal and business stuff online uh, just to kind of get started getting getting a little bit more experience with the e-commerce. Um, haven't been able to do that yet as well. So looking forward to that. Bidhanillahi ta'ala. 
Um, so that actually concludes the finance and work goals part of my monthly goals, life and business monthly goals report. Um, I'll quickly go through the Ummah and the World categories. Um, uh, first one is I easily successfully continue to build Ridwanullah Foundation. That's a placeholder, obviously haven't achieved that. Uh, next one, I easily and successfully built a volunteer team, placeholder, haven't achieved that. Um, I easily and successfully addressed uh, certain things, uh, haven't been able to achieve that. Um, I easily and successfully gave, uh, um, haven't achieved that. Uh, well, certain parts of it, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, but looking forward to the other parts. Um, in terms of the masjid and friend goals, um, I easily and successfully provided at least one Ramadan iftar at masjid before the end of 2019, inshallah, was able to succeed at that. Um, I easily and successfully helped uh, with, uh, Ram with masjid's Ramadan management uh, before the end of the year. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen was able to do the best that I could on that department. Um, I easily and successfully helped with Eid prayers and leadership, Eid prayer leadership and management before the end of 2019. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen did the best that I could there. Um, I easily and successfully helped with, um, this one is a personal, private one, uh, so we'll just keep it at that. Uh, this one is another personal one that I have that we haven't really been able to achieve yet. Haven't been able to achieve the previous one as well. So uh, looking forward to doing that. Um, I easily and successfully helped improve. Um, our. helped improve our Islamic children and youth's lives. Uh, before the end of 2019, you know, I'm trying to do the best that I can there, um, but I don't have the capacity and capability to do the things that I want to do at, this, at the level that I want. Um, next goal is... Um, I easily successfully met with a brother about um, our our chill our Islamic uh, children and youth in Salt Lake City, Utah before the end of 2019. Haven't been able to achieve that. Hopefully, I can in the next year. Um, next one is I easily and successfully hosted third annual Ridwanullah Brothers Iftar uh, before the end of 2019, inshallah. Uh, unbelievable success. Uh, next goal is I easily and successfully communicated and connected better, better with my friends uh, before the end of 2019. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, definitely improving on that. Um, this one is a private one. Haven't been able to do that, sadly, but inshallah, shortly I will. Um, I easily and successfully helped Masjid Al Huda uh, host successfully host a Quran graduation event before 2019, inshallah, and that was an unbelievable success. Created a buzz not just in Salt Lake City, Utah, but across the world. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Um, so I was very, very happy to be a part of that. Um, next is neighbors and community. I easily and successfully got to know my neighbors uh, be better before the end of 2019, inshallah. Uh, doing the best that I can there. I could definitely improve a lot more. Um, next one is I easily and successfully hosted as, and, and or was a part of at least two neighbors and community meetings before the end of 2019, inshallah. Haven't been able to do that yet. Um, I easily and successfully did as many community service projects as possible before the end of 2019, inshallah. Haven't been able to achieve that yet. Um, it's just because I don't have the capacity and capability because, uh, you know, pretty much all of my uh, focus, energy, and effort, teamwork, energy, and effort, the five ingredients basically is being taken up by, um, is being taken up by, uh, you know, the other parts of my life right now. So hopefully once I'm able to get those in the situation that is better, I'll be able to uh, 
uh, you know, contribute in a better way, bithni Allah Ta'ala. Um, going on to the city and state goals, um, I easily and successfully explore, explored meeting with leaders in our city and state uh, before the end of 2019, inshallah. Um, I'm still exploring. I haven't really met with anybody yet, uh, but I have a lot of access and opportunities um, that the average person doesn't have it. And I'm not saying I'm above average. I'm actually below average, but I'm just so blessed to have this opportunity to be in a leadership position. Um, next goal is I easily and successfully help uh, the homeless in our city and state before the end, as much as possible before the end of 2019. Um, haven't been able to do that yet, but looking forward to it, inshallah. Um, I easily and successfully helped a specific organization as much as possible before the end of 2019, inshallah. Haven't been able to do that yet, uh, but looking forward to it. Um, I easily and successfully... Um, I easily successfully held and or was a part of at least two uh, Islamic leadership uh, meetings and or activities in our cities and state. Uh, before the end of 2019, that's a great idea that I had that I just don't have the capacity and capability right now. Uh, but I'm looking forward to it. Be the Nilahi Taala. The country and world goals. I uh, easily and successfully continue to work through Islamic nonprofit organizations uh, before the end of 2019. Inshallah, uh, doing the best that I can. I'm actually involved with about two to three right now, maybe up to five. Um, so inshallah, looking forward to improving in that capacity to the best of our abilities, ta'ala. because we all have one mission of helping our ummah and world. Um, so there's no politics or back and forth that you can kind of sense sometimes. Inshallah. So I'm successful at that so far. Um, I easily and successfully helped as many community service and foundation work within our ummah and country um, as much as possible uh, before the end of 2019. Obviously, I haven't been able to do much of that yet, but I'm looking forward to it. Um, I easily and successfully helped with uh, uh, Bellet Wayne flooding aid before the end of 2019. Alhamdulillah, I uh, was able to do my portion of it to the best of my ability. Um, and it's been great, great response for our, for, for our brothers and sisters in Baladwain. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with you guys and protect you guys. Um, next goals, I easily successfully helped with, uh, the Yemen, with Yemen's uh, famine as much as possible. Um, even though I didn't do as to the best of my ability, I tried whatever I could. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. And, you know, continuously working on that end as well. Um... Uh, this one is a private one, so I'll leave it at that. Bidhni Allahi Ta'ala. And I'm on a great track to finish it off strong. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Um, I, I easily and successfully kept an eye out for other needs and wants of individuals and organizations within our own country and world uh, before end of 2019. Um, you know, to the, to the best of my ability, I am. So I'll just leave it at that. Bidhni Allahi Ta'ala. Um, I don't know if you guys like the fast paced one or the slow paced, you know, explain explanation part. I'll try to see if I could move forward between those two. Um, whichever one you guys prefer, I'll do that ta'ala, because at the end of the day, it's what benefits me and you. So that's all my monthly uh, life and business uh, monthly goal report, uh, goals report. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Um, so I will leave you with, uh, obviously the challenge, but I'll tell you the most important lesson that I've learned this month, November, 2019. Uh, but before I do that, I challenge you to set and achieve your own life and business goals, uh, every single month, set it for the whole year and then check with yourself every month and move forward that way. It really, really helps out a lot. It makes a big, big difference. And if you accept that challenge, put in the comments below, I accept the challenge and you better be the Nidilahi Ta'ala pull through 
to the best of your abilities being in the lab. So that's the challenge. Um, the most important lesson that I've learned in November of 2019 in my life and business goals is there's no shortcut to work. You have to put in the work. A lot of long hours, hard hours, smart hours, but a lot of hours. I'm talking about double what people are normally used to. And inshallah, to the best of our abilities, things will start, things will start picking up. And you keep working, keep working. That is the, less, that the lesson that I've learned. And you're going to have to make a lot of sacrifices on things that you normally had to do. Uh, but it's all for the greater good. And you put yourself and your loved ones in, a, in our ummah in a position where we couldn't have imagined before. Um, Jazakumullah khair. Um, you know, if, if for, for, for joining us, check us out at radwanullah.com. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Jazakumullah khair to those who are. Press the like button if you haven't already. Uh, you know, sh leave your comments below. I would love to hear what you think about my life and business uh, monthly goals reports. Um, anything that I've asked specifically or, or anything that you would like to ask, I'll, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, share this with somebody who could use, you know, some a little bit of im is what I like to call it. Excitement, inspiration, and motivation uh, through this uh, Life and Business Monthly Goals Report. Um, and that's pretty much it. Jazakumullah uh, khair, Ridwanullah family, for tuning in to another episode of Ridwanullah TV Monthly Goals Report. I'm your host, Life and Business Maximizer, Hussein Mahmoud, checking out by saying... Never ever give up on completely maximizing your life and business in this dunya and in the akhirah for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.